Hey, remember the location we stopped at that was haunted during our pre-Canna weekend? <laughs> yeah, but we didn't know it was haunted. That's right. Let's tell them about that one. Okay. Welcome to another episode of Our Haunted Travels with your hosts, Sean and Marianne Gunn. <laughs> well hello youtubers and welcome to another episode of our haunted travels i am your host sean donnelly and i'm your co-host marianne donnelly today we are talking about panic d number 1977 which is falling water mm, yes yes and this is at panic d number 1977 in Pennsylvania also. Yeah, it's at 1491 Mill Run Road, Mill Run, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the most famous architectural buildings of all time. Well, that's right. It is. Frank Lloyd Wright. Yes. And we have... Well, you know what? Let's just show them the history right now of the, of the building and, and uh, how this came to be. Okay. Let's show them right now. Edgar Jonas Kaufman was the patriarch of a prominent Pittsburgh family known for their distinctive sense of style and taste. A highly respected businessman and owner of Kaufman's department store, Edgar and his wife Lillian traveled in international circles and sought out the artists, architects, and other creative souls throughout their lives. Their only child, Edgar Kaufman Jr., was an equally sensitive and artistic man who would become the catalyst for his father's relationship with Frank Lloyd Wright. Falling Water's landscape has been transformed by water and rock. When the continental plate containing North and South America collided with the continental plate containing Africa about 300 million years ago, it had a big impact on what would become the Bear Run landscape. Multiple layers of sandstone, now known as Pottsville sandstone, shale, and limestone were forced up in long parallel ridges. Since then, moving water has gradually eroded the softer limestone and shale, creating the stream we now know as Bear Run which cascades from more resistant sandstone ledges to create a series of waterfalls. Bear Run, and indeed almost all of southwestern Pennsylvania, lies within the Appalachian Plateau and Mountains. This long and relatively narrow region stretches from northern Georgia to southern portions of New England. The terrain consists of ridges, plateaus, steep slopes and dramatic gorges, landform variations that provide a vast range of orientation, elevation, and moisture that in turn dictates the various expressions of the forest. The partnership between Edgar Coffran and Frank Lloyd Wright was a fruitful one. It was founded upon mutual respect and a shared interest for new ideas and challenging projects. Edgar was introduced to Wright by his son, Edgar Jr., who studied with Wright at Taliesin. Coffin was intrigued by the image of the aging architectural genius who at age 67 was thought to be in his twilight of his career. After receiving the commission for Edgar Coffin's corner office interior of the 10th floor of the Coffin's department store, Frank Lloyd Wright visited Pittsburgh and ultimately Bear Run in December of 1934. The Kaufman's love for Bear Run's rushing waterfalls inspired the architect to imagine a residence placed, not as Kaufman's were expecting, across from the waterfalls, where they could be enjoyed from afar, but cantilevered directly over them. It was a daring move that permitted the Kaufman's to not only simply view nature, but they can actually live in the midst of it. Frank Lloyd Wright chose the most dramatic of these falls for the location of the Kaufman's house. Perhaps unknowingly, Wright exhibited the best of his art. Tempered by experience and stimulated by the opportunity to unite man with nature, one of his core beliefs. His client's openness to view ideas and their promotion of modern design through Kaufman's department store challenged Wright. Yet this particular architect-client relationship produced a design unraveled by the 
contemporary American architects of its time. That design, according to accounts by several of Wright's apprentices, was produced in a matter of hours by Wright, who often claimed, I just shake the buildings out of my sleeves. The first drawings of Falling Waters, which included floor plans, perspective, and a section, were essentially the last drawings. The lines and sweeping angles of the house over the waterfall flowed fast and furious from Wright's pencil just hours before Kaufman's unexpected visit to observe the progress of the design. The name Falling Water was also conceived seemingly on the spot hand-lettered by the architect across the bottom of the drawings. Even before its construction was complete, Falling Water captured the world's imagination. Its fame would become undeniable in 1937 as Frank Lloyd Wright appeared on the cover of Time, posed in front of his drawings of Falling Water. The Museum of Art in New York dedicated a two-year traveling expedition a new house by Frank Lloyd Wright in 1938 to its unique design. It soon graced the pages of life as well as architectural forum, making it one of the most recognizable houses in the world. A second expedition, Frank Lloyd Wright Architect, opened following the completion of Falling Waters Guest House in 1939. Construction of Falling Water ended by fall of 1937, and Kaufman's family began using their weekend retreat to share the home and explore its surroundings with friends. They did this by having long hikes through the woods, refreshing plunges under the falls, and reading or dining al fresco. Falling Water was so popular that in 1939 a guest house, connected to the main house by a cascading concrete canopy, was added to accommodate larger parties. For over a decade, Falling Water acted in this capacity, a private residence viewable by invitation only, yet also gained fame as Frank Lloyd Wright's career took an upswing in the 1940s and 50s. In 1952, shortly after the death of Lillian Kaufman, Edgar Kaufman and his son discussed the future of Falling Water agreeing that the house and the land surrounding it should eventually become accessible to the public. Within three years, the elder Kaufman will also die. He passed the duty of preserving falling water onto Edgar Jr., who sought to guide the future of falling water as a public resource. At this time, Edgar Jr. was living in New York City where he was teaching at Columbia University and he became a less frequent visitor to Falling Water, in part due to the discontinuation of the overnight train service to Bear Run. In October 29 of 1963, during a public dedication ceremony, Edgar Kaufman Jr. entrusted the Western Pennsylvania Conservancy with preserving Falling Water in the Bear Run Valley surrounding it. The Kaufman conservation of Bear Run not only honored his parents, but paved way for it to become a cultural center open to public visitation. All right, so yeah, the partnership between Frank Lloyd Wright and Edgar Kaufman. Mm -hmm. Two very interesting people. I can imagine them being in the same room, <laughs> you know. Now, we did another video that we put out there about the dark side of the falling water. Um, and uh, I'll put a link to that. Bing! Right there. Um, it just reminds me of stuff. elementary school when they when you would watch those videos and they, they would have that chime to change the, change the Turn slide. Turn the page. <laughs> uh, but anyways, you know, everything wasn't all roses and waterfalls with falling water. Oh, look at you there. Yeah, see how I played on those, those words there? Yeah. Yeah, and there's still today they think there's some structural issues with well, that they, building. Yeah, they, they got to keep watching on that. It and, yeah. I mean, yeah. half the building at least is cantilevered over a waterfall. How could there not be issues to watch? <laughs> That's right. So, yeah, we visited this location on, uh, where are my notes? Falling Waters. April 2nd. 2006 before we were married yes it was our pre-canna weekend so you want to explain what pre-canna is or do you want me to do it 
so pre cana weekend is uh, for those not in the Catholic faith. Um, that is their pre-wedding orientation to married life, <laughs> and basically, I'm going to take I'm going to take the opportunity to correct you. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. It is the classes that you have to take if you are a Catholic. However, we are Byzantine Catholic. Yes. Which is a little bit different. Okay? Yeah. They do it in a weekend. True. It's not all these classes you got to go to. You yes. have to go to this weekend, and I think it was, was it overnight? Yes. Yeah, it was just overnight. Boom, knock it out. Yes. But <laughs> in it's most... like when I converted to Byzantine Catholic, it was like I bought a dummy's book for Catholicism, which I did. Yeah, but usually they do. They make you go every so many weeks, and you go through a couple hour session. They just smack it all into one weekend. And... One weekend, you get yeah. together with other couples that's getting married, and yes, yeah, yeah. I did find it, uh, you know, being that I teach certain things, um, I actually ended up like teaching there too. Yeah, yeah. I, I tell you what, that <laughs> weekend I did not sleep at all because we stayed at. What was it? The Antiochian Village. Antiochian Village with no locks on the doors. They segregated the boys from the girls. And you had roommates? And I had a roommate that I never met before. I'm like, yeah. I didn't sleep. I didn't know yeah. who this guy was. And they were, and like, the youngest, they were younger than us. Yeah, we you were know. old folks. We were older. But, you know, you look at us now. Here, I'll show you a picture from back then. Uh <laughs> We didn't always look this way. We didn't always look this old. <laughs> so here's a picture, 2006. This is before we got married. Look how dark my hair was. I know, and I didn't have those gray streaks in mine either. I don't think you had any gray at all. <laughs> we gave each other gray hairs. We really did. We did. But that is uh, Falling Waters there in the background. And see all those people on the on the cantilever things for when it's about ready to collapse. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we were like the older couple there. We were. We were the old folks. So everyone else kind of snuck out and went out for the evening. and We were the good kids. People were hooking kids. up and all kinds of stuff. We were definitely the good kids. We went to bed early. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to get it over with. Yeah. I can't remember, though. Do you remember? Because I'm forgetting stuff. Did we stop at Falling Water before or after pre can week? After. After. So on the way home, on the way home. we stopped by Falling Water. Yes. We had no clue, not even anywhere close to being... We were four years before we got into the paranormal. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, so we don't have any recordings or anything like that. Uh, and no pictures inside. They're not allowed to take pictures inside of it. Mm -hmm. Not allowed. Um yeah, you're not allowed to touch stuff either. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, Albert Einstein stayed there. And right, being a science person, like, Albert Einstein stayed there. Come on. So there was a chair that he used to like to sit in a lot. I just happened to, like, accidentally bump into it a little bit. Yeah. You Oops. Know? Oops. And, uh, <laughs> you know, as far as pictures inside museums and recording devices and stuff uh yeah we have little tricks so we'll be going back to falling water that we will <laughs> that we will um of course you know what really bugs me about these places where they say you can't take pictures inside and do that you go on the internet they're they're there's tons all over of them the place. yeah people do it you know it's like really you know i know flash photography damages whatever but we got cameras that takes pictures without flash photography and you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to give you guys a, a tip right here. You ready? If your cell phone does video, in most cases it'll do low light video. It doesn't need a flash. So you know what? I carry my phone in my pocket. It's recording video. Oops. You know, somebody <laughs> from a museum is going to right. be watching this. I'm and they're now. going there's to like... Posters there's going to be in. pictures of us up on the wall if these people come in. Frisk them. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to be recording us. That's right. <laughs> okay. Oh, goodness gracious. But, yeah, I, I definitely enjoyed uh, going and being in the, walking the same grounds. Like, Kaufman's, all right, great. They were rich. They had stores. They sold stuff. I could care less about the Kaufman's. 
I, just me personally. But Albert Einstein was there. I was all about it. I was walking on the same grounds that he was walking on. Did you know that was Kaufman's and... house before we went there? No, no. Like, no. I do you did you guys know that? You know, you hear of Falling Waters, Frank Lloyd Wright. You know, it's his house he designed and all that other stuff. Yeah. But did you know that Kaufman, Edgar Kaufman, the owner of Kaufman's Department Store, that was their that house. Was his house. Frank Lloyd Wright designed it for them, built it for them. You know, but you don't hear no, that, you that just much, hear unless Frank you go Lloyd there Wright. on the tour. And I'm like, what? What do you mean, Kaufman? Edgman, Kaufman's Department Store? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, you just know Frank Lloyd Wright. And then the video, the history video, um, you know, this was one of his crown achievements, Frank Lloyd Wright. And uh, very popular. The nation knew about this place. It's still popular. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, you saw the picture of us with all the people on the, on the yeah. balconies of Falling Water. Yeah. We were there in April, so it was probably a little chilly still. a still. little chitty, chilly. I was wearing a sweatshirt. Yeah. You know, of course that's... A, really mean much shocker i wear sweatshirt all the time it's not really that far from us maybe you know an hour two hours something like that was, or within an it, hour it was a couple hours it's western pennsylvania so it's pretty close to us uh we gotta go back yeah absolutely. especially now that there's paranormal claims you know with yeah the, lillian kaufman has been reported being seen by a security guard there and uh you know, I didn't know at the time. I bet you you would have been all over it if you knew that the Kaufmans were buried there. Oh, absolutely. I would have been searching out their grave. Like, we totally missed that. We didn't see yes, that. We did. Because we didn't know. And, uh, and and it's outside, so we can take pictures. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to go back to this one, people, and uh, we'll do a follow-up on falling water. Yeah. Follow-up on falling water. Yeah. I'm not stumbling my words today. I'm help. I know. I'm you're doing good. Oh, I just stumbled on that one. <laughs> Follow up on falling water. I didn't stumble. Yeah. So it's definitely a cool building. I'm. I definitely would not have ever thought that I would want to build anything like that. Like that anyone even would think of building something. Well, like the Kaufmans that, but... didn't think that he was going to do it either. He, you know, he surprised them. True. They thought it was going to be across from the waterfall. Yeah, kind of like where our picture was. The, yeah, they so they could sit they and could look sit at it. And look at the waterfall. He's like, Nit, we're going to put it right through the house. We're actually build the house on the waterfall. That's kind of daring. Yeah. You know, crazy. Absolutely. And there's some pictures in that history uh, video of construction. <laughs> there's no way I'd be standing under that, you know. <laughs> so, um, anyways, that's my phone ringing. We'll have to catch it after the video. Uh, do you have uh, uh, anything else you would like to add about this location? You do have to park in a different place than there. You have to park and then walk down a pathway and then you walk up this squirrely pathway to get back to it. It's not something you can drive right up on. So that's something that you do need to kind of pay attention to. Definitely do they have shoes. a parking lot? Um, I don't I honestly don't remember. remember. I just remember I we remember had to park somewhere road. else, and then we had to walk. I remember the road getting to it. It was like it's in the middle of the woods. It is. Yeah, but which you... is probably why they were running it as a brothel. <laughs> yeah, true. Nobody's if coming out there. If you didn't catch there. the other video, that's one of the things. Is after the Kaufmans, the Edgar and Lillian passed away. Uh, Edgar Jr. was charged with. Um, the home and he didn't make it there Very as often. often as he wanted to and he came in one one time unannounced unannounced and here the caretaker was running in it as a brothel for the businessman out of pittsburgh oops didn't know you were coming home this weekend <laughs> yeah i can imagine <laughs> let's just say i don't think he was the caretaker for long yeah so potential of haunting why do you think this place has paranormal things. uh it's got a running waterfall through it come on i mean that's the the easiest one you can ever that's have right. you know right. so um and well there's a couple other reasons or suggestions theories that i have um number one there was some tension between edgar and lillian um lillian did they they claimed it was accidental accidental suicide um but there was tension between them she died on the property and she was buried elsewhere 
and returned there. And brought back. So was there proper reinterment? Hmm? Don't know. Um, makes sense. Now, the, the only uh, people that have reported those claims was that night watchman. I didn't find anything else. If you know anything more about the paranormal around falling waters, please leave it in the comment section. Or if you've done an investigation there, I know you probably can't rent it out to do an investigation, but how cool would that be? That they didn't let cool. you take pictures in there. But, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm man, sure they wouldn't let would you set awesome. up some cameras. There has cameras to be and... something. I mean, and, and, and all the people that have gone through there and visited, all that different energy and, and all that stuff, uh, this, this place is probably a hotbed. Mm -hmm. I really want to go back with the recorders running. I bet you we'd get some EVPs. Maybe this summer. Maybe. You know, we're always looking for some place to take Dad in the summer. This is a good little day drive, mm -hmm. basically. So. Yep. Okay. Anything else? No. 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 Hey. Just got to got to hang out with Albert Einstein's chair. <laughs> Maybe you should start taking over stuff, or part of it. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. There's a button over here by me. Push subscribe. Oh yeah, that's really good to kind that of way. entice people. Wait, it's that way. It's right there. <laughs> if you have not subscribed, hit the button, please subscribe and smash that bell to be Gosh. notified about more more videos from us, Panic D videos. So till next time. Thanks for watching and happy hunting. If you like this video and like to see more in the future, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and. Give us a like below. Also, if you have any comments or, or suggestions for our future videos, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching this episode of Our Haunted Travels.